This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey guys, it's time to get awesome, get geeky. It is the Awesome Cast episode 457. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Beachview. You know, you may notice I may look this way when I start to say that because I actually do look at the window to see the name so I don't say Mayhem Studios that I did for so many years. Two years we've been here now. Actually, officially two years. This is our first thought. Yeah, officially, first of beginning of August. We were uh, moved in and ready to go. So, happy anniversary! This couch, <laughs> this couch clocked a couple miles that the, day. The, down the, the street. Yeah, the couch uh, uh, clocked some uphillage. Right, uh, John Chichilla is here enjoying the couch all by himself. Just he's just spread out on that couch <laughs> over there. You look really, lo- you do yeah, look you, really uh, relaxed. I am, I am, I'm extremely tired from my vacation, and but oh, I am very geez. relaxed. And ne- next week, if maybe if Dutters doesn't show up, oh, Krause will be here. Yeah. Say maybe I'll lay down next week. I mean, you guys just you just like lay crossways, you know, and you know head to toe it, and and you'll be chilled, and don't worry about it. We'll just we'll take care of it with camera angles. It'll be just like it works for me. It'll be just fine. Uh, also with us from Studio D is the Dutters. Hey everybody! Hey, I had a cat. She'll be back. I hope she's going to get a snack. We're gonna a cat snack. Cat snack. <laughs> cat snack. Uh, we'll so, cat snack. thank you for joining us from from uh, 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 the Great White North. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know if our. I didn't know if we had a st- uh, Studio D uh, location disclosed on this show yet. So. No, we haven't. I'm just up north somewhere magically. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere up north with cats that are with not cats. Cats and giant coffees. Look at this thing. Whoa! Whoa. Look at that. I. I mm-hmm. I had a coffee before the show, and I had to go get a new one because I watched a fly just nosedive right into my full cup of coffee. It was gross. Oh, uh, no. oh wait, 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 hmm. wait, 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 wait. Ah. And cat mode. <laughs> there you go. There's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the awesome cast. Uh, we're having a lot of fun here. You guys can join in on the fun here at uh, awesomecast.com is where you have the show and past episodes. And you can uh, find out how to subscribe to us on your favorite platform. Just look up the awesome cast, uh, whatever podcatcher you'd like to use. Please rate us. Please uh, just just hit the stars. Just hit the stars. It's all you need to do or the thumbs up or whatever's on your platform. That helps signal them to put it in front of more people so we can get more awesome listeners like you. And also video versions are over on Facebook and YouTube for awesome cast so you can see the cats uh, hanging out over there at studio d so (laughs) and uh and our expressions uh you can also ask your google home your amazon echo your uh uh uh, uh, the apple one uh to uh listen to the awesome cast podcast as well sometimes you gotta hook up something like tune in or something in your app beforehand but once you get going then you just get to do that every day i ordered batteries with my echo the other day that was a nice. That's the first time I ordered something. Just put it in the cart and then let me know I had like five hundred dollars of stuff in there because I've been looking at headsets and, and I'm like, okay, we're not going to order that yet. So the so when you do that, like, how does it figure out which ones you want? So when I said double A's, it said it actually gave me two options. For me, it's uh, I see that you ordered previously this patch of triple a's which are the amazon basics that are like 36 packs or something mm-hmm. like that um so so that's 36 packs of 36 thir- no 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 <laughs> that's <laughs> a, a lot of batteries pack of batteries okay i need them for the headsets and stuff anyways um also uh we're here live every tuesday at 7 p.m eastern on facebook live check so please follow uh, awesome cast on facebook so you get the notification you can join us live like dave ponder's hanging out there uh with us tonight and they're just 
sharing cat pictures i think is what's happening right now uh but uh, you can be a part of that of course we are streaming on ever other platforms and restreaming throughout the week and uh and of course we're also restreaming on our friends at rivers edge pgh.com and the 405 media.com so if you are listening to us a little later please hit us on awesome cast on twitter uh with the hashtag ac 457 so we can continue the conversation uh so uh with that also you can hit up Producer Missy is here at awesomecastlesorgatronmedia.com if you have any inquiries about advertising options with the program or if you want to be part of our studio audience. Michael's here this week again. Hello, Michael! He's in here still learning some podcasting from us. He hasn't learned all the knowledge that we know yet, so he's still he's still hanging out with us and missing and finding out how to do show notes and listening to our grumbles when I get things wrong. Uh, also, patreon.com slash awesomecast so you can uh, support the show at a coffee club $5 level. Thank you so much. Our friends at Matt, uh, at Matt Weller. <laughs> I'm going to put at in front of everybody's name today. Matt Weller, John Diggy DeGore, and John Carmen, who we found alcohol that Carmen left here last time, so thank you for that. So, yay, secret alcohol. Um, <laughs> fan of the show, Dollar Level, our longest Patreon supporter, Michael Fedor. Thank you so much, everybody, for supporting the show. And I am going to murder you in your sleep. You were supposed to put your awesome thing of the week with a link. No link for you. Let's see. Let me just paste this thing in here because I completely pulled it up <laughs> over here. Uh, while I started to, I did start to see that little like cursor thingy. Mm-hmm. It's not letting me paste anything. Anyone can put a Anyways, cursor in a Google Doc. Well, I figure out how Google Docs work on an iPad. Shilla, what's your awesome thing of the week? So um, the Oculus had a sale, and I think some of the devices are still on sale. Um, so the I got my hands on an Oculus Go. Ooh, um, this so is the this is the doesn't need a computer. It's kind of the Samsung Galaxy setup, but without like the separate stuff. It's you don't all have in, to put it. You don't have yeah. to put a phone into it. Um, you're right. It doesn't have a. Um, it doesn't need a PC to run. Runs on its own. It is running Android on the inside. I, I noticed because I, I can't remember what I went into some settings menu and it was like it looked familiar. It, it looked. It, it not only looked familiar, but somewhere it said like running Android version, whatever. Um, so there's the go and there's the quest. The quest okay. actually can do two of the like Oculus style hand controllers. Okay. Like you see when you, the Oculus, I don't know. I go to the picture amazing. on the site and they're just doing like crazy. Uh, I, but you apparently need a lot of room, uh, because she's doing crazy lightsaber stuff. Is that, that might be the quest. Yeah, I'm looking at the quest. Yeah, the quest you need. need, That's what I'm saying. (laughs) You need some room for the quest. The quest, yeah, the quest looks like it uses, um, it's using the standard, like, dual. um, Like those gyroscopes. Yeah, the gyroscopic ones. And it looks like the quest is using pretty similar to the one that we, I got for the, um. The Samsung for the gear Galaxy VR. Gear VR, yes. Yeah, um, not at, not as not as precise or anything, but but I mean, still works. Well, it, the interesting thing is, um, they've kind of reworked the way the remote works. It's it's to me much more comfortable. You have a trigger, you have a back button, you have a home button, and there's actually ha- it has a touchpad on it, so you can scroll through things. Um, the frame rate is where I noticed the difference. I think like the galaxy cure vr depending on what phone you put in and which model you have is 30 frames per second and this is 60 frames per second Mm -hmm. um the resolution also i think is a little higher to me it's also lighter um so the device is under is a pound or less um the other cool thing that they have is that's those those first gen ones the vibe and the oculus did seem pretty heavy yeah and your face would be sweaty yeah the band that goes around your head, though, I thought was cool because it's actually on. You can pivot it up, so you mm-hmm. can leave the band kind of where it's at mm-hmm. on your head, and you can take the whole visor and kind of tilt it upwards and rest it on your forehead. Mm-hmm. So that I thought that was nice. Unlike the gear, that that is the one thing with the gear, right? Mm-hmm. If you want to be able to see what's around you without having to lift the visor up, you can actually turn on the camera on your phone yes. the, and kind of reposition yourself in a room or on a Oop. sofa or whatever. Um, so I'm pretty impressed with it. I will say it it made me feel almost nauseous because one of the first things I, I, I always like to go watch like one of the guided tours or the videos or whatever. 
so there was on the Oculus TV. There's actually a TV channel now mm-hmm. for all the for a lot of their videos, and the first thing that popped up in there was the the new steel curtain ride at Kennywood. Um, yeah, it, it kind of made me nauseous. <laughs> So it did its job. It, it, it was a roller coaster. Yeah, it was. Oh, the other <laughs> so. thing. The other thing that I thought was super interesting was, um, it does have a headphone jack, mm-hmm. but there are very small speakers built into the headband as well. Hmm. Um, there, it's not as great as having like a nice set of high quality wired speaker or wired headphones plugged mm-hmm. in, um, like a Dolby Atmos type set i have a i can't remember who makes them um but just having like the the sound coming through there it was it was good enough for for a roller coaster ride so i'm pretty impressed with them for i think the base price is one 199 for the 32 gig model 249 for the 64 gig that's nice and that is that 32 gig just kind of feel like uh enough yeah, I, I mean, I think I downloaded a couple apps, and I may have used like six hundred mm. meg. I'm st- most of the stuff I'm doing, I'm streaming. It's, see, it, it feels. I, I know sixteen on the gear felt very, feels very limiting. For, but I but, feel like that's because you also have to keep everything else on your phone. Right, right. but it's also well, I, yeah, I, I deleted most of the phone things on it, but still, that's a big chunk of that is that operating system, right? Mm-hmm. If we're just doing the Oculus. Um, operating system that has to be a little bit better i would imagine the, the so. only thing i did notice is i i, I want to say i charged it overnight and mm-hmm. i think when i fired it up and after it did an os update i had like two and a half hours of battery life Ooh. which wasn't bad um i can't i don't think i'd want to play more than two and a half hours no there, no 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 um i'm interested to see if i plug in something to the us the micro usb or yeah, micro USB. Like, can I plug in a USB hub and throw a thumb drive on there? Mm-hmm. Um, will it will it read it as a drive? Since it's running Android, my thought process is it might. Awesome. So you're in the future once again. And while you were doing that, I was also uh, checking out virtual reality this weekend. But in my, in my case, it was a virtual boy um, because I was at Replay FX, and I think I think Dutters wants to talk about that for her awesome thing of the week. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, chill. I know you were not there, sadly. No, but, blast. but my, my not being there has now created a, a new venture for, for Sorgatron Enterprises. <laughs> yes, we can't so, talk about that one on the yes, show, but nope, it's not yet. No, well, we don't have it developed yet. That's right. Still the idea. That's mm-hmm. right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Sorg was there. I took a Missy Sorg with me. So we got to head out to replay this weekend, and we had so much fun. We played all the video games. Um, Missy, I introduced Missy to Bishy Bashy, which is my favorite button mashing game of all time. Mm-hmm. And so that was a blast. And, and, then, and then we have a picture of wait. Here's a picture of Katie uh, in process uh, playing a video game. Um, you you found the shortest cabinet there apparently. <laughs> yes. See, it's so short. I think I walked by it and never noticed it because I know I played that virtual fighter machine that's behind it. Yeah, we, they hid it from you. Only that's certain right. people could see it. That's right. That's only, right. Only short people could see it. Oh, Missy spotted it for you? No, she wanted the picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so my five year old got to go, mm-hmm. much like everybody else other than me. Um, <laughs> and he, like, I, I got a bunch of pictures of him playing games and he was playing the the tabletop games. He was playing a bunch of different uprights. Um, the one thing he mentioned was that, and it's probably not that big of a deal to most of us adults, but <laughs> they, they, they got rid of the bounce houses. So if you yeah. were going to list like, if you were going to list like three things that were different, whether, and it doesn't matter if it's better, or worse, whatever, just three things that were different this year from last year, what would those three things, what three things stuck out in your mind? Well, they replaced the bounce house with a uh, Ferris wheel, a big Ferris wheel, which was pretty wild to see. Um, bounce houses, just coming from the particular industry I work in, are very expensive, and the insurance, there's a whole shebang. Uh, I can it. imagine they're, the insurance on them. Pain, yeah, a pain in the dupa, so I could see that. Um, but as far as like the things that changed, I thought it was it looked massive this year. I mean, like I've gone before, but like this year just looked absolutely huge. Plus they had all the esports things going on, mm-hmm. working with the the Pittsburgh Knights, which was pretty neat to see that whole setup. Um 
But yeah, I, th- I think that was like the biggest thing to me was like it was huge and it looked huge. And, and so there's a shot of the Ferris wheel. It wasn't, it wasn't a Ferris wheel. It was one of those was, like with the, the, the enclosed twi- twisting. The, yeah, because the cars flipped as they went around. And yeah. you couldn't have paid me to go, go it on there either way. So no. I mean, it's not like something I was going to be doing. <laughs> so Dutter just doesn't do heights. <laughs> what was something else that was different? Uh, uh, well, something else that was different. Oh, gosh. Um, I think it was interesting because I, I don't know. I didn't get a chance to go last year. Mm-hmm. I did miss out in last year. Uh, but I feel like the console section just exploded mm-hmm. from the photos I saw last year to this yeah. year. And every everything, even like the mini consoles were there. There was like a Commodore 64 mini console, which was pretty cool to see. Um, but yeah, that, that section looked huge. I mean, you were over there for a while, I think, too, Sword. Uh, yeah, I at least walked around over there mm-hmm. um, um, this year. Uh, and I usually take a tour through there, and and uh, it, it it was definitely big. The, the Doctor Mario tournament was impressive. I need to I need to talk to those guys. Uh, I know I know uh, the one guy um, uh, follows me on Twitter, so hello. Um, because they did a fun thing where they're playing NES Doctor Mario, and they um, it, they cropped or or keyed out the background when you're playing two player, so, mm-hmm. and they had a webcam, just a Logitech webcam on top of the TV. And uh, you could see the people standing there if they stood in the right place on either side of the play area because you're taking the 4 3 Nintendo and putting it on a 16 screen. Oh, that's a screen. really good idea. And I was that's like, neat. dude, that's really cool. I want to know how they did that. But it was in the middle of the thing. I don't want to bother anybody. Um, really, the big thing for, I thought was the the sponsors <laughs> a little bit yes like uh, yes. you know the giant stage with Carvana and there was a there was a uh, army army esports tent and 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 you know there was like Smile Direct was there Red Bull had a gaming lounge I played a lot of Street Fighter Five there which led to me grabbing it on Steam unfortunately because uh, I don't have a PlayStation but um you know Crack it's and rum what's that I think it's Kraken is it rum oh yeah Kraken was rum. there with a yeah, rum and a hideaway with 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 like yard games and everything, I saw and, and a bar. I saw the yard games. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. So there was like a more like where we, he, there and there was definitely not like I didn't see even the indie companies that we know from the show there yeah. anymore. Uh, and I I maybe saw two booths of games that were just like who are these guys and it looked like some indie developer just getting started up. But it was really like it was like it felt bigger because there were sponsors there with like you know their presentations you know mm-hmm. and everything and then carvana was all over the giant main stage the giant main stage were they dispensing cars <laughs> no i was so mad i was hoping i was like if you're gonna do this you gotta bring the car dispenser like, yeah, you gotta, right? you're gonna commit you gotta bring the we brought thing. the ferris wheel so you know um like but no it was it was it, it felt bigger it, it, this is this fifth year um and i barely even got over the pimberg side Mm-hmm. Really, and I was still finding games the way things were configured. It was a little more. It wasn't direct like rows, 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 rows like last year. Like it was kind of around everything in the middle. Oh. Um, so uh, the the music stage in the middle, I thought was oh, you can, didn't get to check out much of it because I don't think you were there while any of the music was playing. Mm-hmm. No, so but it was like more in the middle, over by Toontown, or whatever mm-hmm. it's called, uh, Toontown World. That's always there every year. I told myself I was going to go and investigate and find out what that game was about, and I didn't get a chance to do it. Um, unfortunately, they were doing a presentation like when we walked they, by. Yeah. By oh, oh, yeah. Though, 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 there was like there was like a like a, a tune tune town, and I think I'm getting the name wrong of the game, but they had like a, a seminar <laughs> going Jeez. on about it. So, like that was on the schedule, but um, uh, yeah, but, but most of my time was spent at the music stage. That was pretty cool. Um, uh, you know, Bit Bit Bit, Brig- Bit Brigade played. Two nights, guys. Two <laughs> nights. They played um, uh, Metroid the first night. Impressive. And then they played uh, Mega Man 3 the second night. So nice. and here's a little video if you're with us. There's the, the big crowd gathering to watch them play Mega Man 3. It was really awesome. It was really cool. It's always just great to kind of see that, especially after seeing like the small wizard world <laughs> the week before. <laughs> and um, I think I'm going to be there for a tech conference at the end of the month. So, and nice. plus like a, a, a business show that was like, looked really weak to, you know, yeah. about a month pickleball yeah. two ago and pickleball. I saw pickleball there by accident. So <laughs> it was great. Uh, it, it's one of the really cool spectacles that happens in this town. Right, Katie? Yeah. Oh yeah. And I, lucky for me, I, I got to help with setup this year. Mm-hmm. I was part of load in days, um, Monday, Tuesday. 
and just seeing how much work this group puts into it. And uh, I had one of the maps and, you know, figure out where everything was going. And it was so impressive. I mean, everything was just so impressive and they're so organized and they're just so good. It just, mm. it's so much work. It's so awesome. So cool. I did, I did get to kind of feel like I was there. Yeah. You got um, to watch the stream. So, so I was not at, my part, but I, you got to watch no, some not of your it. part, but I got, they were walking around the, and they were showing some of the pinball. Mm -hmm. um, I was at a barcade or a bar mm. arcade mm -hmm. in Northern Michigan and Traverse city called the coin slot. And on their TVs there, they had the Twitch stream from replay FX going. So it was kind of cool to be able to see all, see all that going on while I was getting my own free you know, play. On. And that happens like LFG always has Twitch streams on when you walk in there. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, I'm looking at the numbers and everything and I don't realize like some of those numbers, maybe it's playing in front of like 50 people in a bar. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, like that's, that's kind of like, wild to think about that that's that's where we're it's at not just that. someone sitting on their phone or on mm. their computer wherever mm. yeah it's mm -hmm. it's being broad it's being rebroadcast to a bunch of other people <laughs> yeah no it was wild it was pretty cool to be there i i just love being there and around games so go ch go check out the streams uh replay fx and then there's also like replay fx music replay fx tournaments pinberg and you can see a lot of the uh captured videos from the weekend too so my awesome thing while replay was very awesome i do have something else to talk about real quick um, you guys remember I got the early automatic car assistant years ago in my, well, at the time, I think it was in my 2005 rendezvous, but we moved that over to the 2012 Ford. Um, and, and, you know, it synced with the phone and that's kind of how it did a lot of the, you know, more higher end, uh, uh, functions. Well, they've been bugging me for the last several months because apparently, um, they're not going to support that anymore at, at, after the end of August. So I picked up at a deep discount thanks to them. Um, the uh, new automatic car assistant now with LTE, so it's got the usual stuff. Uh, the the uh, crash alert, which I was starting the trigger by accident uh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> on some of our hills and saying no, don't call emergency services. So that was on me. Um, also, uh, they have like roadside assistance stuff, real time like location sharing. You can uh, uh, you can sync this with uh, if this then that and do some stuff like track your track your miles or anything like that um you can set this up now chilla here's where you may be interested you can set this up so uh with smart home integration so that when you're on your way home and so close to your house it can start turning the lights on or whatever else that you have set up in your home automation does it have the ability to do re you can't do a remote car start with that though can uh not mean? with this okay no no uh, we, well, we already have that. Um, but no, that, I, I have, but see, here's the thing is everyone has a remote car start, but not many people have a remote car start from their phone. Mm. Like a lot of people have the key fob. Right. Right. And, and I think more that cars, help me on the I think train. Tesla does that. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't help you on a train. So no, because like, so my Santa Fe has it where mm. I can open up the app on my phone. And as long as the doors are locked, wherever it's at, I yeah. can start it. Yeah. Um, so if I'm leaving the gym uh, as I'm like getting dressed and getting ready, I can in the wintertime, I, or even in the summertime, sometimes I start up the car. So it's either hot or cold when I get there, I would like it. Like if I'm on the way from the home on the train, I could start up the car. You get you home. Know, when I get out. You get there and well, you get to the car and in the summertime, it's, mm -hmm. it's, I roll down the windows and don't even get into it for yeah. five minutes. Yeah. Um, no, so I want because our one car has the remote start, the other one doesn't. But I'm looking for it where I can get it f to actually activate from my cell phone. And I was thinking because that's LTE enabled and integrates with your phone. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could send a so start the, signal. The, the LTE, um, while you know it's nice, and I always got notifications, but it was always um, it was synced to my phone. So when Missy was in the car, she wasn't going to get the crash alert. She wasn't going to get anything because there was nothing to connect to. Right. But then like I'm gone for like a week on various <laughs> business trips. I come back, use the car for the first time and start getting all of the notifications for every trip she's done while I've been gone. Right. Oh, like every like, like short you're spying pop. on her. Yeah. Well, no, it gets even better because um, now I've low jacked the car because <laughs> I set everything up and now I get a notification by default. I, I haven't really started messing with this. Um uh, I get a, I get a, a message when the car starts driving. I get a message when it's stopped and to tell me where it's parked. 
I am literally like uh, uh, Missy went to a meeting because all my stuff was like here in town and she was going places on other jobs and meetings like Friday and Saturday. So I knew when she was coming back. I knew she when she got there, like the whole thing, <laughs> the entire weekend. So it was um, I was like, it pops up I'm like, oh, yeah, they're at Sheets before the wrestling show. OK. All right. I know. <laughs> I know they're on their way. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've completely low checked the car. That's really cool. <laughs> but also, she can install the app, sync in, and do the same thing when I'm out driving or, you know, on whatever, mm-hmm. right? So, um, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's great if you're like, hey, Junior has is 16 and has the car, you know. How fast is he going? How, is there? Yeah, because you, you get all the, because mm-hmm. it's it still has all the, because that's one of the big things I got at first was all the uh, safe driving alerts, like the, the, the speeding up, the going over 70, um, and sudden stops, right? You know, if you're seeing, like, you come back and you see all these things, it's like, oh, Junior got to learn how to drive, you know? Or, you know, so it's like, it's kind of a, a, a condition, you know, to that. And, 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 you know, again, you're not worried about tracking their phone or anything else. It's like, where is the car? Because that's going to... And, and that's good for safety, too, in case something happens. So, so is there an additional fee because there's LTE... Yes, so um, I'm looking at this, and actually the fees are not on. Uh, so I get a year free, and if you get the, you pick this up. Generally, it's, it's the first six months are free of premium. That includes everything, but there's also select, which actually you get for three years free for that. Uh, but that does not include a real time location and sharing vehicle. Di- oh, no, you have that uh, business expense tracking and smart home integrations. That's not part of uh, select. A roadside assistance is paid for use, right? Um, all the rest of stuff is the premium that uh, you get six months free. And then after that, do, 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 you can subscribe at $5 a month, which it's is not, not bad, bad. No, <laughs> for a service like that. I mean, it's got to be better than some other car. And I mean, that includes roadside assistance. That's that's great. Um, so I don't know how extensive. I don't know if that's the same as roadside assistance with like my insurance company, but I don't know. Um, but no, it's automatic. Check it out, automatic.com. Uh, they're not spelled weird or anything, which is amazing. I, 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 every time I go to search for, it, I'm like, I'm never going to find this because it's just a word. And uh, there it is. So go good, good, good on you guys for the SEO. So go check out, check that out. It's definitely highly recommended. Hey, also highly recommended. I want to throw a shout out to our friends down at the Muddy Cup. Uh, hey, we've all been there working away through the day. And then, oh no, I went to the murder thing. Um, <laughs> and then that mid afternoon <laughs> slump hits. I got to get out, play some Pokemon, and get some caffeine. Uh, why pour a room temperature cup of leftover coffee from your office machine when you can go get a fresh brew coffee, mocha latte, a muddy cup here in Beachview? Um, if you're not in Beachview, go check them out in Bellevue, Dormont as well. Go check them out. Go go search muddy cup coffee on the uh on your on your device on your search device on your maps and go check them out it's cool it's it's a cool little place uh here in beachview we're thankful to be half a block away from us so please go check our friends out at the muddy cup hey we uh have a great facebook group uh the awesome cast facebook group where a lot of you guys are dropping some stuff throughout the week oh where is it did i picked up i it's in my bag over there there's a you know red bull has a magazine no. What? Yeah, it's um uh Michael, can you the, my backpack at the end of my desk there? There should be a magazine in the in the back full pocket and it's got some kid with funny hair on it. Um Yep. <laughs> He's like, "Yep." <laughs> Go ahead and chill if you want to look at that. Go give that to chill. Is it like a month Pour it up over there. No, I don't it's know. May, May 2019. May 2019. Magazines are expensive <laughs> nowadays. That the 4.99 yeah. is expensive? Are you you should have to seen the wrestling see, to, one and to see Ninja get lit? Scan this QR code. Oh, hold that up, hold that up there. Well, of course they're just giving it away at Red Bull events, probably. Um, Katie, you probably saw some of these lying around when you jumped into the river with Red river. Bull <laughs> that's that a year one ago time. Today, by the way, is it a year ago today? Yeah, that happy when you, year anniversary. When you conquered your fear of of heights in the Mon or the Ohio, no, I or swore very loudly and yes. jumped into a river. I danced like a 
a horrible Michael, my horrible Michael Jackson thriller impersonation, jumped into a river and swore very loudly. Ah, uh, those were the days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yep. So, anyways, the <laughs> point is why we bring all this up, this uh, extra stuff. Uh, our friend Brandon in Kansas City uh, shared with us from uh, Sports Illustrated. One, gaming and Sports Illustrated. I see. I'm seeing ESPN prime time with esports, Apex Legends, and pro wrestlers. And now, uh, Sports Illustrated is letting us know that a gaming megastar Ninja announces he's leaving Twitch. Uh, to stream on Mixer. Oh, that Microsoft money is coming into play. Did you see the the claimed amount he's getting to do that? I am afraid to know what that number is. But you it know is what? Nine hundred million. Nine hundred million over six years. Over six years. That's presuming that people still care in mm-hmm. six years but it's a contract right so they have to on- yeah they have to honor it yeah. oh yeah they, they have to honor it but it's like it's it's also like are we still going to be uh, well, is he going to keep up with the games are we going to be as excited with him playing whatever the ne- cool game is three years from now as as he is in Fortnite? maybe he sucks at that game who knows <laughs> Maybe it'll be funny to watch. Maybe, maybe, fun, maybe it'll, it'll be a comedy. Yeah, I guess that's the point. I mean, it's, just, it's still fu- funny to watch him suck at a game. You know, Riz has been trying that for years. Uh, Riz, play, Riz <laughs> plays games. Trying to get games? Good at games uh, no, just to... playing badly at games. I think that's his angle uh, a lot of times. Um, that and um, um, Dream Daddy. Uh, but uh, uh, Riz plays games on Twitch. Uh, <laughs> there is just just as listen, an FYI. Listen, he didn't tell me what Dream Daddy was about when we started playing Dream Daddy. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. But it's it's actually kind of a fun game. So it looks like this is monthly. So okay. I have May 2019. I don't know. It was free, and $4, the lady wasn't there. Oh, wait, four dollars and ninety nine cents. Oh, cents. You're gonna, oh, you got a you got a pull card, or you can get one year for six bucks. Oh, so one month for five. How does that math <laughs> work? Is there anything in there other than gaming guy that we care about? Um, it's all just like people jumping off of stuff, right? That's the brand. Uh, yes, yeah, some surfing, some hiking. That, and that's before he is worth $900 million. Um, this so anyways, the point of the story is they're going from Twitch to Microsoft thing and Mixer, which of course is integrated in Xbox. Um, but I mean, it's not just Xbox. I mean, it, you can use it as a site just like Twitch, right? Um, Chilla, you're an Xbox, or what do you think of that? I'm not, I don't usually fire up Mixer. Like, okay. I do fire. It's so the thing it, that's on there when you boot up the like Xbox. It, I like, I get people saying, oh, yeah, I watch your stuff because it happens beyond because I turn on my Xbox and there you are on Awesome Cast. So, I guess I'm, so my, my usage is a little different. I, mm-hmm. I click the link on the Twitter Twitter feed mm-hmm. of like if I'm scrolling Twitter and someone says, "Hey, I'm playing Apex Legends," I'll be like, "Oh, I'll go watch that for a minute." Okay, or, I'm doing this. I'll go watch that for a minute. You guys have like some kind of party going on at the end of the street. I'm oh, it's, hey, did you know it's National Night Out? Ah. And we're in. <laughs> uh, Dormont has one of those going on tonight. Yep, I, well, that's why it's National Night Out. I also Dormont that makes it national. That makes it national. It's two different <laughs> cities. <laughs> Woo. Um, you can take the train between them, but right. n- but no. So so I don't I don't fire up a console or f- fire like when I fire up a console, I'm there to play a game. I have a set limit, usually a set amount of time that I even have to play. Right, I'm getting into the game, getting out. But we're not the you know we're not we're not I say maybe we are the typical gamer, but we're not like the, that audience that's yeah. worth $900 million no. that's watching a lot of this stuff that is putting on the feeds uh, at the looking for group and the barcade you were at and, and ESPN and everything like that and the Pittsburgh Knights that I saw hanging out all weekend, right? Um, yeah. It, <laughs> um, but but the, so, Yeah, so mine's all just out of news feeds. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're kind of like tran- transgender. You're, you're a transient watcher. With mm-hmm. that, it just comes it comes across to you, um, but he's something that people follow, and they're gonna follow him to Mixer. How many people don't know Mixer think, is a legitimate thing until they go, especially the PlayStation users, right? Oh yeah, I think I think I've, I think he in his first stream he had a couple hundred thousand or something like that. Mm-hmm. Someone can correct me I'm, of uh, I'm Mixer right. on Mixer. Yeah, might be interesting. I yeah. mean, maybe this is where I uh, this is where. You know, I go see what it's about because it's on all my Microsoft devices. Is that so. where you stream like some like barcode type thing to say mm-hmm. I have left? Like if you're if you move from like Twitch to Mixer, oh, like, like you have when, like this 
this stream. like when I shut down a podcast feed, like, <laughs> hey, we've moved to this other feed yes. over here. If you're still getting this, yeah, yeah, something like that. Uh, somebody was saying like that he pretty much pulled a uh, Howard Stern in this case. Ah. So that's what they were comparing to. Howard Stern famously was syndicated on the radio and uh, took his talents to serious. Mm-hmm. And I've never heard a Howard Stern episode since. <laughs> he's still, I mean, he's, he's still, still going. He's, he's still, still going. making money, and and now he's the one that says podcasting's bullshit. But see how that goes. Um, wonder what he thinks of Ninja. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, they say partner being a non gamer. I have no idea. Private mixer and stuff. Also shared with us here. Let me see who, who passed this along. Actually, Podner himself. He yeah. says, "Comment to this." Okay, who wants to get around traffic? Uh, this is a uh, uh, something from ABC News. This is French quote Birdman Frank Zabata uh, successfully crosses the English Channel on a flyboard. Now that's one of those kind of. Um, um, it, it looks like the the Green Goblin um, <laughs> kind of jet kind of thing, right? I don't know. I, oh, I'm watching an ad. This isn't even the thing. Jeez. Yes. There's, a, there's, there's a tornado or something. Oh, this is the thing where Verizon says that they care about first responders. Mm-hmm. Wonder why they had to do that. Uh, anyways. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's one of those It's one of those um, um, Green Goblin, William Defoe uh, jet board kind of things that we've seen before, right? With a much bigger backpack. With a much bigger backpack. And uh, he's just rolling across the English Channel. Uh, so self-made. He made. Wait, wait, wait. He made it to himself, and then he's been followed by several helicopters here in this video as well. Uh, so he's a, it's a French inventor. Yeah, it's awesome. So uh, this is an interesting point. 110 years after uh, I lost the fact, it went away. <laughs> you read that if you're on video with us. Uh, but uh, go check that out. That's that's cool. I mean, this is this this man is flying on a hoverboard across the English Channel. I give this, this guy is, a lot of credit. This, that, is this isn't a hoverboard. He's not. He's not what? like a couple inches off the ground. No, he's up there. He's that's yes. a, that's a long fall. This picture. If the spark plug fails, even or over he water, runs out of battery. There's this picture of him. Uh, let's see. This is him. Do, 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 do. This is after he took off because he he took off from a cliff, guys. He, As one does. Yes, I, I think. I don't know. I think my visions are are. Um, mixing with that commercial that was running when they're climbing poles and stuff but he's like you just see this speck up in the air over the rocks on the shore uh off of this cliff and he's got to be oh geez what do you think like at least a uh, hundred feet up in the air maybe I'd at that, that point i'd say that's 100 150 150 feet in the air i'm not good with distances but that is incredible we are definitely living in the future and just the visuals alone are just fantastic for this look at that Look at that. Oh, there's like a little video playing in the bottom corner on mine. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're avoiding that. Oh, I'm getting something else. That's bad news. We don't like bad news here on this show. Um, we also don't like our pizza cold. And that's why we get it fresh from our friends at Slice but on this Broadway. Is, this is Wait, I'm going to an ad. <laughs> what is it? The crashes? That's not good. Daredevil crashes during attempt to cross English Channel. <laughs> Wait, is that somebody else? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, shout out to our friends at Slice on Broadway supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for a good long time here in Beachview at Carnegie PA, the East End, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Go check them out and uh, follow them, PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter, and go check some uh, <laughs> as well. Uh, uh, SliceonBroadway.com, all around Pittsburgh. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Ponder's in the chat room. He says, uh, from that height, even over water, you're probably dead. I learned that from the, a real Ghostbusters episode. He had to stop halfway through on he a did. platform and refuel with <laughs> kerosene. It doesn't <laughs> run on plutonium. It runs on kerosene. He didn't make plutonium. that mistake. <laughs> oh, man. Nope, nope, nope. Hey, if you haven't tried out Rocket League, I, I tell you what got me into it. Um, I, I have the kit. I have a Ghostbusters Ecto-1. And they also have a DeLorean that you can pick up in there to play as. And in. Actually, it was the Macho Man thing that got me in on it. So I've been playing trying to earn that. I got it last night. Now I have no sleep. Uh, anyways, a lot of stuff going on here. And we only have a little bit of time to talk about things. Um, first of all, Chilla, Disney and Hulu, and ESPN. And ESPN. So I'm not a sports ball person. But, I, but you can watch your esports on there. So is that so ESPN Plus? What is, is that like the Ocho? I'm sure. Like, yeah, I get, like, I'm sure all eight? the esports are on there. <laughs> like where? 
Where Either does, way, where plus who cares? Who cares about ESPN? You, you got the other stuff. What's going on here? So so for a mere, what was it, 12? 12 $12.99 per month. Twelve ninety nine per month. And to me, this is this is Disney Plus trying to get mm-hmm. their get on the playing field. Mm-hmm. So Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus. Hey, you might um, already have one of these two things. Wouldn't you want to just add Disney Plus for nothing? For nothing. Yeah. Or if you had two of these things, it's probably less. Well, I'll tell you <laughs> what. I So we're talking twelve ninety nine for Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus as a bundle. I was paying eleven ninety nine for Hulu. Without commercials. So, I mean, give me a dollar more on all my Marvel and Star Wars and watching the original Lion King, I'm in. DuckTales, please, because Colin Delaney got me into money to watch DuckTales after this week, last weekend. So, so that happened. So, I don't know. It seems like a really good deal. Now, I'm not a Hulu person. They have they have original content. You will be, because it's all the Fox stuff. So, they have... And Ghost Rider's coming. Basically, anything Marvel that... Anything like what Netflix had for Marvel will be going to Hulu. Will be going to Hulu. Okay. Yes. So do they do so they keep a back they keep their back catalog. It's theirs. not like it yeah, yes. there's so there's you stuff can watch they have. Future Man. It's something. Okay. And Marvel Runaways and, and like their stuff stays. When you get into stuff like Fox's The Gifted, maybe that'll stay now that they own it. Mm-hmm. But um which is an X Men series. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's it. Yeah. So then you'll get those that lineup may look different now that NBC is going to have their own thing, but generally just saying, Hey, I'm going to get like all of that stuff they, and they, Simpsons is going over there. So in their stuff, do they put commercials in there or is it like Netflix or like daredevil where it's, uh, well, it's it depends on what tier okay. currently it depends on what tier you have going on. Even if it's so. their own original content. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But that's just the format. So um ponder says he's very interested in that bundle because it really really doesn't like paying for comcast paying contests any money there you go <laughs> um katie i i i know you're you're a cord cutter slash vcr watcher um uh <laughs> yes, what, what do you what, you know the cost uh, cost consciousness you know and i know how big of a fan of marvel and especially star wars things you are uh yeah. is this of interest to you yes i'm very excited mm-hmm. yeah definitely original stuff too new st- or new stuff yeah yeah. You can't see anywhere. Yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. I, I feel like it, it, it kind of fits right alongside the stuff I already have. I don't. I don't feel like I'm going to be stretched for it. So, um, but but man, I'm still that DC universe. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> still need to watch some Teen Titans, man. Um, but hey, that's uh that's cool. Uh, Katie, uh, what else is <laughs> what else is going on out there? Oh, what do you want to talk about? Do you want to talk about the squad, or you want to talk about uh, Facebook and Instagram not being fans of um, certain ads? Uh, let's talk about ads. Let's, get, right. let's, get, let's talk about the exciting world of ad technology. I know. So there was something. So on uh, July 31st, their uh, sex tech startups were protesting outside of Facebook offices because social networks such as Facebook and Instagram are do not allow you to have different uh, like vibrators and things are not allowed oh. to be vi- advertised. Uh, as part of Facebook or Instagram ads, no matter how tasteful the ads are, mm-hmm. they're a big giant no-no because they're considered um, too sexually explicit. Like the only way you can get anything along any, well, any sort of lines is um, Facebook will let it through if it's like a contraceptive or for family planning, but you can get like erectile dif- dysfunction ads on there, but, so, but you can't have like, Hey, the- they're in your podcast. Why not? Mm-hmm. I actually had somebody message me and said, please, please, please never have blue chew as a sponsor. Because they're like on everything, and yes. the jokes are getting bad. It's awful, and like, and it's, and they're talking about how you know you could do this really nice, tasteful ad, but you can make this illusion, you know, or have this other ad where it's like a limp plant, and you're talking about some sort of blue pill, and it's a, from Hims. They they have a whole line of very interesting ads, but it's totally okay. But you can't just have these, you know, sex different um, sex toys kind of a thing. And, um, yeah, because Facebook's rules are they cannot, it has to be contraceptive and not focus on sexual pleasure or sexual enhancement. It must be targeted to people 18 and over, which is really weird because you really can't target under 18 Mm -hmm. on Facebook ads to begin with. They're really not a big fan of that because you're not supposed to be doing that. Uh, but they had a big protest outside. And then something I dropped in there, um, is they created this website called approved, not approved.com. And if you go through there, it's kind of a quiz. Okay. And you can see they'll give you an, an ad, and you decide whether or not the advertisers um, 
approve the ad or not. And this is Facebook, Instagram, and I believe um, there was a couple different, I think in Boston and in other cities, maybe New York's mass transit, they tried to buy an ad in one of their trains and they got a big giant no for that too. Hmm. Um, so you can flip through and kind of look at it and go, oh, this is interesting. And then... By the way, I'm just going not approved for these so far, and I'm I'm pretty good on this. Let's see yeah. this. Oh, I think I saw this one. Well, this was just straight toys for sex, and yeah. they just there are things, and they don't look like anything. And I'm saying not approved. It's rejected. Ads were not approved to run in New York City subways. Oh, there's the ones you were mm-hmm. just talking about. Let's see, uh, Manscaped.com, and it's 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 a plastic bag with two oranges in it. Yeah. I'm that was approved. Not approved. It was approved. Ran yep. on Facebook and probably didn't still they, does. Didn't they have a? They had an ad on something big, like the st- Super Bowl or yeah, like they had they had they had an ad on something pretty. And I was surprised. Oh, Manscaped. That, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, TV just lo- wants money at this point. Uh, yeah. It'll take it from yeah. anybody at this point. Um, well, Katie, we you talked about it here your issues, but I know I know uh, somebody was posting a wrestling video and the yeah. still. Had a lot of skin in it because yeah. these are guys in tighties, okay. <laughs> and he got he got knocked for a sexually explicit. Uh, <laughs> it was just just a guy laying on the mat. So um, I think I I think that algorithm's off because I've heard of a lot of people complaining. Off. Have you seen the well? There's the algorithm, and and there's a lot of because um, I was talking to somebody else about this the other night, and they were like, yeah, then you just re rerun it and you'll get approved because they'll like a person will see and say, oh no, this is something else um but then there's katie i know you you've read the uh article that we had going around in slack of the, mm-hmm. the people that are manually looking at posts that have been yeah. reported and mm-hmm. how bad of a situation that is i think yeah. do you remember who had that article was that a wired article perhaps i think it might have been yeah so was I, that or um not verge what was it called another place like that but what yeah but, but this one is is very much like it's we're not going to push like women uh forward prod you know products but you know it's cool talking about erectile erectile dysfunction do you know what i mean like it's, it's such a double standard with things that it's not they they just need to reevaluate a lot of what mm-hmm. they're letting through and what they're not letting through and just kind of it's be a little bit more fair <laughs> it's so large of a problem mm-hmm. and, and you know i i don't know how they could get get their hands on it as yeah well. A lot of stuff that really it's it's a, it's a changing a whole conversation too. It is. That's, it is. It, it, you're you're taking something that's okay to be talked about in public, mm-hmm. and something that's not that should be okay too, because th- we're not having those safe sex and, and mm-hmm. actual adult conversations about sex. And you because can, it's so taboo. Yeah, and, and you can completely like every time you say I don't want to see an ad, it's like I don't see this as appropriate. Like I mm-hmm. think you know that is an option. You kind of opt out of that type of ad can be Mm -hmm. an idea too well someone had brought up in a conversation that facebook if you look at your ads they're very much targeted for you Mm -hmm. you know what i mean they 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 were able to tell this lady was pregnant they were able to tell that another person you know was getting married you know very specific ad you know they're able to tell Mm -hmm. that oh you know what they might not be interested in this i should probably not show it to them but they're just like whole like nope 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 yeah yeah like we don't want even the possibility of one of these getting through who knows um, well, uh, one from one controversy to another, um, Netflix has, uh, something that's hopefully going to help out everybody's relationship here, uh, <laughs> as Netflix, uh, has a co co-watching contract that helps, uh, partners form a TV, uh, pact. Uh, uh, listen, I, I gotta say, uh, uh, Missy and I have been having some relationship troubles that are all surrounding around our, our Netflix watching and, uh, not being able to, uh, sync up with things. This is why we haven't finished um, either Jessica Jones or or, or uh, Stranger Things yet. Uh, but this is like this was actually on their Facebook. Uh, let's see terms and conditions. Number one, I won't fall asleep. I, I'm a, I'm guilty of that. Uh, I won't get distracted by my phone, causing the other person to rewind because I missed something. Uh, Missy's checking some boxes right now. Uh, three, I won't continue watching a show without the other person present. Uh, four, I won't talk whilst, whilst, whilst the show is on. That now is getting real serious. And five, in the event that I come across a spoiler, I won't share it with the other person. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, some people are getting slipped this, I think, or shared this, uh, here and there. So that was a fun thing from Netflix. Um, the Matrix is returning to theaters August 30th. I was just watching The Matrix while working on some stuff, uh, uh, Sunday night. 
and it's the uh, 20th anniversary and they're going to release it with Dolby Vision and Atmos AMC theaters. So uh, our theater here at the waterfront is going to get that. Um, now, I watched the DVD rip on my iPad. Uh, so <laughs> Is it like 720p? It was, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It was a DVD rip. Well, it was my standard. My DVDs were 1080p. What? The, no, you're thinking of Blu-rays. 10, no. no, no, no. DVDs could, were standard definition. You could do. You could at least push 720 on a, mm, on a DVD. I will. I will. I let's refute <laughs> that fact as somebody that's, that's not a DVD rep. If you could a DVD on a DVD, because a DVD could fit. Remember, it was eight point four gig versus mm, four point. But it's still the technology in the MP. Uh, if you tell if you're going to tell me that DVDs could be that's why we had HD DVD. That was a whole different thing. I'm curious now what you're going to come up with. But anyways, the point is. Uh, it's going to be a Dolby and Atmos. That's it. Could that do seven twenty, be... but it could do seven twenty. What? Mm. Seven twenty by four eighty, isn't it? That's four eighty p. You're correct. It yes. is four eighty. I know it's weird. It, it screws me up every time. <laughs> um, but no, that's. I mean, that was. I was having a big cyberpunk thing because I was watching uh, Hackers too, which I do every like other. Month. Oh, I love so. That's I mean that's just that's like, a go-to. It, it takes you back to like what we thought the internet was in 1995 and where we're at right now and uh, virtual reality then. Uh, you know, I I mean, can I just get a movie of everything before we're introduced to uh, uh, Pendulette? Like Some, I just enjoy that bit. So someone needs to create, and and I don't I don't think we'll ever get this. Someone needs to create a. A like two hour 4K Blu ray of like all the best scenes of a bunch of different, like the, <laughs> just the scenes, like just like a couple of scenes from The Matrix, a couple of scenes from Star Wars, a couple of scenes like from the different um, Avengers. And then you, you can do some D cups. Give me one that has um, Chasing Amy, Empire Records, Hackers, and uh, yeah, I think it's something else from that. You know, but I'm thinking about it like to like calibrate or set up your home home theater or show <laughs> off like the quality. There you go. Like throw that. Th- I've like always wanted that. something like that. I feel like like the early like sampler DVDs. This is DVD full digital <laughs> sound stereo. Don't 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 be. Um, but I don't know if that hurt my throat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, one more here, guys. Uh, what do you want to talk about before we? Uh, R.I.P. the dash button. Really? I think yeah. it's Germany's fault, right? Yeah. They, no one. No one likes it. No one was using it, so they're like, "Let's uh, get rid of it." Uh, I was like, "Oh, that's a good idea. I really should." Oh. Yeah. I knew a couple people that use these, and I did a project for work with these because I got mm. the d- developer unit. And I thought it was cool that you could code it to do whatever the heck you wanted it to do. Yeah, you I could co- the, the one dude was like, before he left the house, he'd hit his dash button and would order his drink at Starbucks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I did. Oh, that's a really good idea. Yeah. <laughs> that's a really now, good now idea. You wish you had one. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. One. There's going to be a black market for dash buttons after dude, this, I, you know. I'm guessing there's not, though, because so the, the whole thing about how the dash button works is even the... the to code well i'm sure there's going to be some kind of jailbreak type root Mm -hmm. kit for it but the whole thing about it is that dash button has a unique identifier that's registered back to amazon (laughs) and so amazon knows what to do when that dash button is clicked Mm -hmm. so the developer ones you can plug in i think you register via usb or maybe you bluetooth connect to them but you you do register them but then in the AWS, you can actually go out there and write yeah. whatever code you want. Yeah. When that button gets clicked, this is what happens. Hmm. So, yeah, I thought I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, Katie, tell me about Squad. Squad. So Squad is a it's a new app, and they are calling it. I just totally clicked off what I was going to say. That's amazing. The uh, anti anti bro startup. Yeah. So the the idea is. It's a, an app where you can share your screen. So, you, you know, if you're hanging out with your friends, you can either do like the video calls or the actual calls on the phone. And you are able to share your screen. Like if you're looking, if you were shopping or if you were planning a trip or just kind of hanging out, want to share like whatever's on your screen, it's all, it's all screen sharing. Mm. So if you want to share a conversation that you're having with someone and you want to, you know, whatever. But it's, it's kind of being, it's mostly uh, girls. 
younger uh, girls. So it's like a safe space for them to go and just, there's no BS of like, cause they were talking about one example was Twitch, how like all these, a lot of these platforms were created by men and they're not lady friendly. And there's a lot of kind of bullying and things, bad stuff going on there. So they have this own space where they could talk with their friends, make, I mean, there's like direct messages, chatting, um, sending photos to each other. Like, I, I think the screen sharing is really cool. Mm -hmm. Like you can, like, there's up to like, I think up to eight or nine people can share a screen at one time. It's like an odd. So yeah, you could like have, like if you're having a conversation, like what should I say to this person? <laughs> Let me tell you. But before the show started last week, we were, I'm surprised that more people aren't playing this up mm -hmm. because Skype and Messenger have screen sharing built into it now. Right. Mm -hmm. Where I can share my screen with any scat, Skype chat right. or um, but Messenger. That, but chat. it's also so, an app perspective that like, oh, I, I don't, I, you know, I don't think generally a teenage girl's thing is like, okay, I'm, I need to chat with my friends. I'm going to Skype. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Like this but, is, uh, I have Facebook Messenger. Maybe mm. not, I guess. No, because everybody's mad at Facebook or, yeah. or mom's on Facebook or something, right? It's not yep. cool. That's why we're all on Snapchat. That's why all the kids are on Snapchat uh, or Instagram or something. Those it's a really shows. nice, clean interface. Like mm -hmm. when you look at the different, you know, everything that you can, you can watch a video together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, not, maybe you can watch Netflix eventually together. And then Who knows? I think you can do that in the Oculus now. Yeah, oh. you can watch yeah. you can watch movies together. Like you used to be able to do you. that on the. That's why I saw the in the 360. In, in the preview there was like the the NBA game pass and like you were ringside with another avatar and you're like looking at each other when looking at the game or something. Uh, seemed kind of interesting. So, um, cool. It, it's uh, it's interesting. Uh, it, so, I, I like because there's a lot of I'm just kind of skimming this article. Like they're talking about a lot of that kind of internal. Um, uh, in, internal attitude as well, right, Katie? Yeah. yeah, yeah, because a lot of, I mean, it's a lot of boys' clubs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're kind of, and it's not necessarily friendly to. They were talking about um, their diverse, uh, their whole device, diverse um, office. You know, working on this stuff too, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's neat. And, and but that's, they just got a whole bunch of funding. And that's important. I mean, that's they, we we've. They talk. They talk about that in a lot. Of, I've been to a lot of diversity talks, and like mm -hmm. you, you, you need that in a business. That's why I like like working with you and you and you and Missy because it's just like you have called out stuff where I'm like I wouldn't even have ha thought about like oh that's a problem you mm -hmm. know and stuff socially and everything. Um, yes, and sometimes at parties, uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't put your butt on that. Um, yeah, that's something I would say. Yeah, yeah, that's where we gotta watch Katie for. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but no, like we that that's really important, and I think it'll be interesting to see uh, uh, what happens with this, and, and hopefully so this grows up into something. So, do you have to pay by the minute for this app? No, it's all. Um, I think it's probably the same as any other. Like, um, well, I'm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe because I'm looking your, at well, so it's in your data. Maybe no, 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 because <laughs> yeah. there's in a, in app purchases. Okay. And the in-app purchases are 500 minutes for $2.99, 2,500 minutes for $9.99, or 1,000 oh, minutes for $4.99. Oh, oh, that's, oh interesting. that's interesting. I didn't see that part. Oh. Hmm. I'll be curious to see what they do with that. Yes. Hmm. All right. Well, on that note, we need to close up here. But first, I want to throw a mention out. Uh, let's see. Or Miss is going to have Speaking of, you know, like I mentioned, I work with Katie and Missy here on a lot of projects here at Psychic Media Services. It's what we do. We're hiding here in Sorgatron Media Studios, <laughs> doing some cool stuff from sporting events to music video production. We're literally doing pro wrestling and music videos in the next two weeks. <laughs> so, uh, conferences and everywhere in between the team at Psychic Media Services has you covered as a sidekick to your superhero project. What next big thing can we help you with? You can find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com, find examples of the work, uh, find uh, uh, information of a lot of the little things that we do here uh, at Psychic Media Services. Uh, we're doing a lot of fun. I, between just this past week, I helped film a boxing event that was on UFC Fight Pass, streamed that replay FX, and shot a 
last man standing match that was really violent in West Virginia. <laughs> so with a little bit of everything, uh, plus podcasts, plus new podcasts going coming on uh, online. Uh, and actually, I can mention one if you guys want to get a subscription out. We got a preview up. Um, this is not part of this network, uh, uh, but I, I got to have a hand in helping out. A cool podcast is coming out. Are you ready for a podcast about podcasting, Chilla? I am ready. Do okay. they talk about equipment? And cool we, stuff? No, 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 no. We are interviews with podcasters. We're ah, talking. Uh, cool. you, you go check out the Inside Podcasting podcast. The Inside Podcasting is, of course, the uh, newsletter. We, we had Bobby Cherry on a couple weeks ago, right? Uh, and he talked about He's part of helping out that newsletter as well as our friend Kim Lyons, uh, who's been on the show also of the po- uh, broadcast podcast. And she makes an appearance on uh, some of these uh, kind of in-between episodes we've been doing. Um, but there, a lot of really interesting interviews um from it's really cool because you know i live in this podcast microcosm where i listen to some tech podcasts and some pittsburgh podcasts and some pro wrestling podcasts but i don't know like hey here's the here's the linkedin podcast here's the new york (laughs) times daily podcast here is this podcast about let's pretend this lamp is alive and we interview it um (laughs) which is okay now you now you fed in my brave little toaster complex and i'm really interested in your podcast uh so but it was cool to like learn about those from editing the interviews and even uh, Jason Calacanis who does the inside.com newsletters and his own this week in startups and God knows what else he's in, you know, invested in over the years. Uh, he was a really interesting interview uh, as well. And geez, the stuff that I didn't leave in the interview was incredible. Um, but go check that out. You can subscribe to it on iTunes right now. And of course, um, um, our friends over at inside.com, you can subscribe to that podcasting newsletter too. Um, and, and it supports some of our friends that are working on that by doing that. But anyways, uh, that is happening. We'll be of course back here with Pittsburgh current, uh we had uh rob rogers was just on that this past week so go please go check out uh look up pittsburgh current podcast on your favorite platform or on their pages for the video version uh rob rogers is starting a kickstarter uh for bringing back uh brood on it was a brood on grant was his old uh i think weekly uh, uh strip that he used to do at the post gazette and uh he's bringing that back to the post uh, the the pittsburgh current and uh and he's going to be supporting other uh cartoonists as well as part of that so please go check that out uh look up the uh rob rogers returns on pittsburgh current podcast there's a lot of peas i'm trying not to screw them <laughs> up uh and uh look up the brood on grant kickstarter over there oh friend of the show is on smackdown tonight we just found out uh, cool he gave me a picture from catering last night anyways We'll talk about that on the wrestling show. Um, what else is going on, Katie? What's going on with you? You're you're you got cats in the dark yeah, over I there. I got a cat. We I can know. We can kind of see a silhouette. Oh, we see the eyes. That's 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 Bridges. happening. It's getting dark up north. Yeah, I beyond do not the see wall. Just stand up and turn the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Yes. So, yeah. uh, anything going on with you? Uh, you you'll be around somewhere this weekend. Yeah, I'll be at Still City Con all weekend. So come say hi to me. Yes, you'll be at the scare, uh, my house. scare house table. Yep. yep. I have some. I pro- might have some fun news if you come visit me. Oh. I love giveaway stuff though too. Are but you- Missy Circle also will be there with me. Yay! Do you have chapstick. Yeah, I have chapstick and I have other giveaways. Woo. Ooh. Oh, good. Weird things are happening with chapstick and pro wrestling, by the way. And yes. I, and I and think it- and I think it's your fault. I am. I'm the. I started all the shenanigans. Did I tell I'm you sorry. about? Did I tell you about that? Oh, I don't know. In the match, he, one of our oh, friends, I saw, I saw. Or one of our friends, PB Smooth, he does a thing with chapstick and he kind of throws it out in the crowd. He he did it, threw it at the other guy. The other guy picked up the chapstick and then used the chapstick. I was just like, <laughs> "That's that's not. I don't know. That's that doesn't work." But uh, I don't know, They're man. That's how if that's how it flies in Erie, man. Uh, yep. <laughs> Revenge Pro, go check it out. Uh, but anyways, uh, Chilla, what's going on with you? I will also be at Steel City Con this Woo! weekend, just roaming around. So feel free to stop me and say I hello. I will not be there. Will not be. Yes. But you'll be at you'll be at somewhere else this Saturday night. I will be well. Uh, more important, I will be at Fresh Fest. Oh, that's it right. It is the first uh, Black uh, Brew Festival. I'm getting the words wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the the it's it's a uh, what's the what's the fancy beer? Give me a name. Give Craft. me a word for it. Craft beer. Thank you. <laughs> macaroni and cheese i need more coffee 
Our friends Drink from uh, Drinking Pittsburgh. Partners are actually putting it on. They've been on uh, a, a couple of the Pittsburgh po- uh, Pittsburgh Current podcast <laughs> talking about it and they were featured in usa today about it a couple of months ago uh so uh i'll be there uh on hand with my friends at work hard digital uh helping out with a live stream of the drinking partners podcast uh early in the day uh definitely go do that it's going to be a really cool event uh to go support as well other than that i if there's a wrestling event uh within an hour of pittsburgh i'm probably there this weekend especially the one 10 minutes from my house saturday night so uh that that's that's my plan uh but anyways um thank you everybody of course k dutters on the twitter chilla on the twitters as well producer missy we'll find out if she wants to kill me after this episode the answer is usually yes uh we'll see you guys next time you've been our awesome audience have an awesome week This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.